This is a really wonderful find. Not only does it represent the largest theropod footprint found in Yorkshire, created by one of these big beasties, these meat-eating dinosaurs like this one behind me, it also captures an unusual behaviour. Now, of course, with footprints and trackways, we know that they are incredible evidence of behaviours of, of dinosaurs and other animals leaving their tracks behind. But in this case, we have some unusual features of this footprint that seem to suggest that maybe our megalosaur-like theropod possibly squatted down on a muddy coastal plain, perhaps one lazy Sunday afternoon, and then stood up and walked away to live another day. Being involved in the rediscovery of this dinosaur footprint has been a phenomenal experience. The time between Rob's initial sighting and me rediscovering it, the print um, had been fully exposed by that point. Thankfully, I knew to contact John and Dean and together we were able to work quickly to have the print uh, recovered and secured so that it wasn't going to be damaged by the tide or buried through further coastal erosion. Um, it's hoped that in the near future this print will be conserved and will go on display in the Rotunda Museum in Scarborough. Hello, Mike Romano, I'm author of one of the authors of this paper. The Yorkshire coast is known as a mega track site, which simply means it's of global importance, holding its own among other track sites around the world. The varied footprints we find along this bit of coast highlight the diverse dinosaur assemblage that must have been living during the Jurassic. Any walk along the beach, you'll almost certainly come across some prints. They can be found by both amateurs and professionals alike. And it just highlights that this is by no means the end of the story. Hi, I'm Rob Taylor. I regularly walk the coast looking for dinosaur footprints. And when I found this one, I realised it was good, but didn't realise its significance. When I first started to record and research this footprint, it began to be obvious that it could represent the behavioural trait of a large carnosaur, the type of creature that inhabited this part of Yorkshire 165 million years ago, and adds to the importance of footprints in ongoing paleontological research. When we investigate any site, we take into account the footprints, any body fossils, or environmental evidence that exists to give us a clearer picture of the past world that these remarkable creatures inhabited.